you know, people often ask us, and look, it's a natural question to say, uh, what's my uh, case worth at the start of the case? And the only honest answer that any lawyer who's experienced in handling these cases can give you is, it's too early to tell. There are so many factors that are involved in the value of your case. Um, you know, what happened in the wreck? You know, is there any punitive exposure? Did you get hit by a drunk driver? Uh, if so, then in addition to the damages for your injuries, um, you likely should be entitled to a recovery of punitive damages. Um, so that impacts the value of the case. And probably the biggest factor is, how badly were you hurt? Um, if you are involved in an accident and you have a muscle sprain or a muscle strain injury, it may be very painful for four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, but that case is not going to be worth as much as a case where you end up needing a shoulder surgery or a knee surgery or a back surgery. Um, the amount of your medical bills is a factor that, that comes into play. Do you have any permanent injury or permanent impairment? And that's something that we would have your treating doctors address. If so, that case is going to be more valuable. And then just economic loss uh, factors. Uh, you know, if, if you're disabled from working, I mean, God forbid that you've had an injury that severe uh, in a car accident, but, you know, Lord knows we see that uh, more than we'd like to. And if, if you've got that situation, that's going to be a pretty valuable claim um, because you may have a lot of future economic loss that we're going to be able to show. Now, in terms of what your case is worth, do understand that your case, unfortunately, in, in many cases involving severe injuries, it may be worth a lot more than you're going to be able to recover because of how much insurance is in place. And that's a big part of what you know, our job is, is on the front end is to try to start gathering as much information as we can about the amount of insurance that's available. It used to be that liability insurance carriers in South Carolina did not have to tell us how much insurance they had. Uh, and fortunately, that law got changed a couple of years ago, and now they do. Um, so we can find out relatively quickly how much coverage the at-fault driver had, uh, and that's, that's step one in determining you know, how much is going to be available to try to compensate you. But we also look at your insurance. Um, there's a, a type of insurance called underinsured motorist coverage, which will kick in if you exhaust the amount of coverage that's available on the at-fault driver. So let's say there's a situation where, just a hypothetical, but if your case is worth, in our opinion, $200,000 and the at-fault driver only has $100,000 of coverage, but you've got three vehicles insured and each of them has $50,000 of underinsured motorist coverage, then we can go to your insurance company and make a claim after um, we get all the money from the liability carrier. So. There's a whole host of factors that, that are involved in trying to determine case value. What our job is as your lawyer is to make sure that we look at every angle to try to make sure that we present the best claim possible to maximize what your recovery would be.